everyone! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays FTL Advanced Edition. Well, uh, we were having like a, a run that I was very, very confident about. We're on Sector 5 here, as we often are. That seems like an awesome trade, given that I have no use for drone parts. Um, yeah, I was having a very, very confident run with the Kestrel ship here. Um, but then I kind of got screwed by a very difficult uh, fight. Now, I'm hoping that that doesn't end up continuing to be the case here. Oh, they're going to try to break their way into the med bay. That'll be a big mistake for you. Um, yeah, we had, a, we had a fight that did not work out as planned for me. Now, let's close these doors up. And uh, I might send this rock man into assist, actually. We'll see how this works. If the med bay is powered up, which it is, we should be fine. They're firing a bomb right now. I'm not going to dodge it. That's fine. Now the missiles come in. I'm going to drop a small bomb on them first. In their shields room. And then I'm going to dodge. Might have mishandled that a little bit. Uh, but we'll wait for our cloak to be finished. Their weapons won't be charging in the meantime anyway. Oh man, we didn't do any damage there. That's so frustrating. Uh, we're going to small bomb their weapons room now. Because we have to. We have explosives replicators. So we can afford to use a lot of missiles. Unless they miss like that. In which case we're in a very difficult spot. Uh... Okay, we at least took their, their big missile launcher offline. That's a big uh, oh, part of this whole arrangement that was looking kind of scary. No, this door is fine. It's the Mantis that needs to come back here. Alright, so I don't even think there's any point to opening that door, to be honest with you. They're going to get in in just a second anyway. So we're going to small bomb shields again. And then we're going to burst laser weapons. Keep those offline. Ah, uh, well, at least the best we can do. I'm not going to dodge that bomb, either. Um, we had a decent chance to dodge it anyway, but it just seems smarter to uh, save it for the missiles in case those come back. We're going to hit the shield room again. And we actually did hit the shield room again. And we're going to hit weapons again so that the small bomb that they have can't do any damage. Okay, this is where we want to be. No cloak necessary. What comes next? Piloting room. Just to stop them from being able to uh, dodge most of our shots. After that, we'll go back to shields just to keep those offline. And... We are in a good offensive position. It might seem like I'm a little bit, you know, I have to scr uh, scrimp and uh, scrounge and do all that raccoony stuff just to make sure that I can uh, actually do damage to the enemy. But once we get this burst laser Mark II active, that is a ton of damage that we can actually. Oh, we got a backup DNA bank, and we're gonna request a weapon. We don't need a drone, so what? sure, we got a one bar ion stunner, which is actually. Also totally fine. Not something maybe we're going to want to use until the late game, but we can, we'll, you know, sell it maybe at some point. Uh, yeah, once we get this Burst Laser Mark II active, we're in a great position where we can do a lot of damage. And having the Ion Stunner doesn't necessarily um, hurt either. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Uh, they they don't really have that offensively powerful of a ship, considering that we can dodge their, their shots here. But we will use a small bomb. It hit... We're going to fire the burst laser very quickly. And then dodge those remaining shots that they had. And we didn't really do too much there. We shot down uh, an existing drone. That's about it. Cost them a drone part. No big deal. Their bomb missed us. Our bomb missed them. Fair trade. Let's get the ion stunner working and see if maybe that's going to help us out here. Let's try to hit their uh, weapons. I hit another drone there. Man, the music is getting kind of loud. That's okay. This is an intense fight against a very drone-heavy ship. So they can't shoot down ion weapons, that's important. We can cloak through their next laser. The, they didn't actually fire a bomb, they just got all the way through the bomb saying it was going to fire. Um, okay, so this is the cloak. That worked totally fine. And we just wait a second, we wait for that stunner to go. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. I'm undecided about whether I prefer to have the ion stunner working or the, bur or the uh, small bomb working. Really, for two power, I would rather just have two burst lasers working. Good, we didn't get hit there. That's very surprising to me, but also good. Uh, the stunner, the, the problem with it is that at this stage in the game, if the enemy has, like, two bars of shields, we only get through one bar of shields consistently with the stunner, so it's not very good. Uh, but it is good at keeping them from repairing things, I suppose. Maybe should have cloaked through this, but whatever. They ionized our oxygen, no big deal. Um, wait for the stunner. It hit, thankfully, and... Good. We only need one more hit now. And really, if we get, uh, probably need about 150 reactor, or 150, uh, scrap to make it work. But if we get it, uh, then we can get that burst laser active. Do we get, um, we got nothing for that? We got nothing. Nothing for that. 
Maybe I should have killed the crew and kept the ship alive or something. I wasn't actually reading the, uh, the text of the encounter. This is fine for now, though. Um, what about this ship? Intruders on board, two bars of shields, ions, uh, hacking, many ions. And they've, uh, they've boarded us already. Which is unfortunate, uh, to say the least. I think we'll get the small bomb working instead of the stunner. They've hacked our piloting system, which means our dodge chance is not going to be very good. Luckily, they don't have missiles. God, Rockman, you are as slow as fucking molasses. Get out of there, you man. Okay. Land the bomb. It worked. Land the lasers. Did not work. We're still fine. We can't be hurt for now. Give it a second. Attack the other fucking mantis. It's nearly dead. Rockman, get out of there. No! Rockman, you're too slow! Mantis, take out the oxygen bitches here. Um, okay, we're gonna cloak briefly. Good. Uh, hit those weapons. Are you serious? That, like, thank God. I was like, how, how are these people surviving? Kirkner, where do you belong? You belong on the weapons. Mantis, you get into the fucking med bay. Fuck our dodge chance for now, it doesn't matter. That's, we still had two shots miss in spite of that, kind of crazily enough. Jorlak, you're our engine personnel. You get over here. Drop another small bomb, uh, this time maybe on their piloting system. That killed their mantis. They don't have a clone bay or a med bay. Um, let's hit their shields, keep those low. I wouldn't be surprised if we can actually kill their only remaining crew members now. I just don't know where they are. Which is fine. We can actually get the ion stunner working now. Um, where are they? Weapons? They're in the weapons room. Uh, I think we might have gotten them there. Let's keep them stunned and in that room, ideally. Sure. Burst laser. Oh! I can see them, and I fired in the wrong place. Ah, uh, they have two crew members. They would have... I mean, they're screwed anyway, but... We could have maybe done it. I don't know. Maybe if we, like, ion stun the oxygen over and over. I'm glad we got through that fight at least, but that was a little scary. 37 scrap. Uh, well, you know, there's our two bars of weapon power that we need, but we have to take that power away from our dodge chance, I think, to be able to use it. Um, not necessarily. We can actually have a pretty nice setup going here. We, need, we do need more reactor power, but now with two bars of, or two, uh, instances of Burst Laser Mark II, I think we're very strong at getting through shields. And we have a Swarm Missile! Now, why is Swarm Missile something that has me talking in a louder voice? It is basically a charge missile that allows you to fire up to three missiles at once. Kind of similar to everybody's favorite uh, bullshit boss fight, the uh, Rebel Flagship. So I like that, and we'll probably replace the small bomb with it. Although, the small bomb is wonderful at getting through, uh, you know, enemy defense drones, which the second phase of the Rebel Flagship obviously has. Obviously, that's the easiest cloaking decision I've ever made in my entire life. We still got hit by one of the shots, but that's kind of meaningless. I'm going to try something different. We're going to small bomb their cloaking system this time. It hit, and it's yellow. Um, then we do that, and then we do that. Mm, we only took out one... Uh, that doesn't surprise me that we got hurt there. We only took out one enemy system, and it wasn't... Uh, or one enemy weapon, and it was just a laser, I think. We are going to need to repair pretty soon. Our cloak is back up, though, so next time they come in with an attack, which should be very soon. Yeah, there they go. We'll cloak our way out of that. Paul, cloak and field, and, uh... Small bomb on the shields this time? Let's, let's, uh, Disregard. I was going to say, let's take things more natural than usual, usual, um, but... No such luck. 30% dodge chance, huh? Um, well, while they're shooting, why don't we micro, uh, our oxygen to get an extra 5% chance. I think they just fired the flat cannon. And... Good. Good misses. Alright, put that back in oxygen. Uh... I really don't want to use any more missiles if I can avoid it. I guess I'll save my, uh, small bomb. For the next opportunity. Close all doors. This is, a. Uh, I mean, we're starting to realize that maybe we're coming up against some more difficult fights than I'm prepared to deal with. Oh, uh, pause. Thank you. Might as well get up to 100% dodge chance, or 95. There we go. And we'll put that back in our oxygen. And we can just stay cloaked for now. And then, um... Small bomb on the shields, please, God. 
It worked. Now this. And this. Okay, shields are completely out. Fires all over the ship. This is where we need to be. We can take our oxygen away for a second. Get our dodge chance a little higher. And that went pretty well, I'd say. Cloak out of the way of the next shot if we need to. I don't think we're going to need to, though. Okay, first laser is good to go. As is uh, first laser 2, at least it's at the ready. We're trying to get away. I don't blame them. No clone bay. Uh, so we hit the piloting system and the engine systems next. And we can cloak through that next flat cannon, so it doesn't really matter if it comes back. That's a really good surrender offer. I'm going to take it. Seven missiles is, is amazing. Because it's technically 14 missiles, by the way, that I have the explosives replicator. Um, I'm not going to buy any fuel for now. We don't quite need it yet. I am going to uh, sell this ion stunner, I think. Sure. Um, I guess we're going to have to fight these guys. Holy shit, is that a glaive beam? Surprising. Uh, Burst laser should take out the Zoltan energy shield ASAP. I don't know when to cloak to stop this, uh, this glaive beam from fucking our shit up. Um... With three bars of shields, shouldn't the glaive beam protect us? But we only have two because of the ions. Okay, their shields are hurt. Let's drop a bomb on their weapons. Why would you ever use an ion bomb on, on nothing at all? Uh, anyway. We're, uh... We're actually doing very well here. Let them live... Or let them live and then return to the settlement. Sure. They gave us the pike beam as a result of that. Why don't you give us the glaive beam, motherfucker? I don't think I actually want the pike beam, so we might sell that as well. We have the swarm missiles, remember, which might be more effective for us if we can actually make them work. Breaching missiles are good too, but uh, the swarm missiles pl plus cloaking seems really useful. Nah, it does come with a defense drone, but anyway, I want to sell pike beam. I do think we want to sell the ion stunner. Do we want small bomb and swarm active though? That's going to be a huge missile loss, but I think we can take it. So what do we have in our weapons right now? Yeah, that's that's right. Oh, Swarm only requires two power. So in 21 seconds, we actually get three missiles charged from it, which is crazy. Um, by little fuel. I know that this is supposed to be a run where I get like as low as possible and then fix up, but I can't help just trying to beat the game. So we're going to buy a little fuel. We're going to fix up a little bit. How many more? I need two more bars of weapon power. We can get that. Not uh, not right away, obviously, but, but soon-ish. We'll take a bar of reactor power for now. Uh, I would love to get more cloaking, but level 1 cloaking, people have told me, is actually better for the flagship, so... Maybe. But I do love the, uh, the idea of getting a uh, three... Mm. Okay, looks like a massive asteroid is in direct collision course with a derelict ship. You can take the weapon or the stasis chamber. I'm gonna take the weapon, even though I think the stasis chamber might be like a... Crystal ship start? There we go, we got a laser charger and 20 scrap. Which is basically like getting 40 scrap, because I'm just going to sell the laser charger. I think, although maybe selling small bomb and keeping the laser charger makes more sense. Obviously, we will attack the rebels. They're going to hack us. And you know what? We're just going to cloak to stop their hack from coming in right off the bat. At least we can get maybe one weapon shot in. So they hacked their piloting system anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So, they have a shield overcharger, which means we have to take that out. Then we'll drop a small bomb on their shields. Which worked, sort of, and then we'll use the burst laser. And we didn't miss, so we did take something offline. That's great. Shield overcharge is super fucking annoying, though. So, fire in the, uh, that again. Small bomb on the shields. Missed, so we'll save our, our weapons here. God, the music gets freaking loud in this fight! Okay, uh, again, the shots that they fire in are, are basically meaningless. Uh, small bomb on the shields. It hit. And, oh, they got an overcharger up. Are you fucking kidding me? This is when maybe we should be using the swarm missile and fire three missiles at once. See how they like it then. Okay. Oh, they have a system repair drone. That's that's what's helping out a lot. Oh, their uh, overcharger is about to go. God, that is a, a frustrating mechanic. Okay. They probably should have fired a little faster, but... Ugh. If we'd just been able to take out one of the crew members or the system... Oh, that's not a system... There is a system repair drone, but there's also crew members. Don't fire the small bomb yet. Burst laser first. Okay, now small bomb. There we go. Crew members dying. That's what I want to see. Oh, we actually took out one of their drones as well. It wasn't their shield overcharge drone, because that'd be far too easy for us. 
But we may not actually have to use the small bomb too much longer. Okay, keep those shields low. But more than that, um, kill that system repair drone. Fuck with them a little bit. They can't do any damage to us, so it's no big deal. Ah, there, everything's dead. Sure, send your other person over here. Let's do this again. By all means. See, we're not as offensively weak as I had originally anticipated. Just takes a little while to actually get the, the good stuff going here. They're lucky they had that shield overcharge drone or they would have been dead ages ago. Uh, and now they're dead and the thing died just beforehand. The prophecy was more literally true than I expected. Ah, we got two damage to our hull because I'm a greedy bastard. Get that uh, repaired ASAP. Probably won't have to deal with a lack of oxygen if we get it fixed up quickly enough. And back to base. Okay, uh, 125 scrap. We are getting, oh, we're at the exit beacon. So we're gonna, one more bar of reactor power, one more bar of weapon power, which does allow me to get uh, swarm missiles active instead of small bomb, if I'm interested. I'm not really yet though. I like small bomb because it gets past those drones. We'll see though. And we really now, uh, one more bar of weapon power, one more bar of reactor power. Then I think we're gonna start pumping into clone. Third level cloning could help us a lot. In my opinion, I of course should say, because many people will disagree with me there. And again, I'm being a little bit more liberal with my use of missiles. Um, we can actually get that in our med bay for now. Why? Uh, well, explosives replicator obviously is one major reason. Apart from that, uh, we did do one damage at least. And I'm just waiting for that flat cannon Mark II to fire so that we have the best cloak of all time. Can we get a small bomb out? in time to then cloak afterwards? Yes. Okay, that was actually wonderful. Let's try this again. Like, uh, okay, we took out that, uh, or simply by virtue of taking out that uh, flat cannon Mark II, this ship is now impotent, basically. So, there we go. Lots of systems in deep shit here. I like how that dude went back to the uh, engine room. He's like, fuck, dude, our dodge chance sucks. Mm, this is bad luck for you. Fire in the shield room is not going to help you out. Luckily, you are, you know, rock people. That's good. Um, they're going to surrender. And the surrender offer is just not that good. Because I don't need fuel. And they're dead anyway. It's not like I can divert the lasers back to me in time. Um, so we'll, we'll keep jumping here. We don't need an extra bar of reactor power yet. I'm feeling pretty good about this. But we'll see how many missiles I start using once the swarm uh, comes online. Are they actually going to send a Rockman over here? I'm actually, like, excited by this prospect. Our Mantis is going to tear him apart. Not to mention we have Rockman and humans as well. Um, sure, uh, bring it on. We could also cloak out of it, but I'd rather cloak out of this uh, flat cannon first. So, Mantis, this is your job here. You're going to run over. I can't remember whether humans or Rockman are technically stronger, but... Certainly, human plus mantis is uh, stronger than Rockman. All right, there's that flat cannon, so we cloak. Those shots completely miss, except for two of them actually hit. I guess we do only have an 85% chance, which is a little less than normal. And we'll hit shields and weapons. Oh, that's good shit right there. Okay. Their flat cannon still lives. Much to my chagrin. Uh, we'll send our mantis back. You should probably take a quick uh, stop in the med bay, to be honest with you. Uh, that's only three shots, so I don't think they're going to be able to do anything to me, but we'll do the same thing we've done for a while here. Shields and weapons alternating with the burst laser. Good enough. As soon as we open up a seam, we can just keep, uh, you know, harping on it with uh, the burst lasers here. And we'll try this again. And should be able to... Yeah, we killed that rock, man. And took their weapons completely offline. There's no way we're going to kill the crew before we kill the hull. I'm actually impressed with their repairing abilities, I have to say, but um, that's not going to matter very much in the whole scheme of things. So, 46 scrap from that is pretty good. That is our next bar of weapon power. We need one more bar. Ah, no, we don't. We can just depower the medbay. And now... Depower the medbay and one level of uh, engines. And then we can get our swarm missiles active. Whether or not we use these swarm missiles remains to be seen, though. Okay, we'll search for the ship. That was actually a really nice payout for scrap. Now we can get our engine power back. Now, it might be worthwhile to go to the store, because we do have uh, a laser charger to sell. In 20 seconds, it gets four lasers. Whereas in 12 seconds, we get six lasers. I do think it's worth selling the charge laser. 
Might end up being a decision I regret, because if we just went like full lasers plus swarm missiles, we can make some crazy stuff happen here, I think, but... Alright, oh, this is the perfect ship to be fighting against. Because basically, they're gonna fire all their missiles at us, and then we're just gonna be like, sorry, we're cloaked, and then fuck off forever. That's pretty much how I talk to my dad, too. That's not true. I try to be very respectful. Um, is there another? There was another missile coming in, so I didn't completely fuck that up. Alright, so we just wait for a second here. Now, everything is good to go. Small bomb first. I don't want to use the swarm unless we have to. Oh, it missed. Let's try the swarm. <laughs> you, you're kidding me, right? All of our shots so far have missed. And of course, all of theirs have hit, because otherwise the game wouldn't be fair. Now, let's quickly get that oxygen repaired. That, that's quite prudent. They're going to cloak, which means they're not going to fire, usually, except for that time when they did. Um, oh, this is still fine. Okay, now we're going to be able to swarm them again. But we'll be able to cloak out of their next missile shot, which they just fired. So that worked fine. You go back to the weapons room. And now, let's plan accordingly. Swarm missile's basically good to go, but we can wait until we get three missiles on it. Does it only take one missile when it shoots, even if it uses three? Let's see. Well, it took one there. The only question is whether it would normally take three or normally take zero. Small bomb. Missed again. Are you fucking kidding me? What is the dodge chance on this ship? Like, 3,000%? That's a good miss for me, thankfully. They only have a laser active now, which doesn't worry me at all. And we'll be able to cloak through their next missile shot, even if they get it repaired. So, Swarm is active with two shots now. I'm going to drop that on shields right away. Oh, that's good. Um, sorry. If you wanted to offer me a rock, man, you should have done that way earlier. Here we go on weapons. And uh, we will cloak our way through this missile. Not before firing our own missile, though, into that shield room just to fuck them forever. And there we go. Okay, so that's going to be a problem for them. And they're dead. Just due to fire. It's a shame what being an asshole gets you in this day and age. Alright, so that's going to be our medbay powered up. So we'll go to our store and we've got some stuff to sell. I feel pretty strong. We do need to up cloaking as soon as possible though. Um, I mean, yeah, the, Vulcan's temp the Vulcan is tempting, but we've already committed to kind of our, our late game weapons. Sorry. Um, we definitely, we, we don't need any other crew members because we're not going for that this time. Um, there goes the charge laser. Which could be something that would cause us to die. Selling that charge laser might have been the dumbest decision I've ever made. We'll see. I don't think we need anything else. I mean, breaching bomb instead of small bomb, it causes it to take so much longer to charge up, though. Four ion damage is real nice, though. I'm thinking, as you might be able to tell. Um, takes one power, 22 seconds. Four ion damage. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with what we got. I think I'm going to stick with what we got. Yeah. Okay, we are. I've committed. Let's do it. That's second level of cloaking. And, you know, I've taken the advice of not spreading myself too thin on systems to heart here. Hopefully, I, I end up being able to make something good happen. You know, best laid plans of mice and men can still go pretty wrong on uh, FTL runs. We'll send our uh, Mantis in here to help out with the uh, weapon fight. We'll close all doors, too. And we just wait for the lasers to basically all fire at once. Mm, we... Uh, yeah, we're fine. We didn't actually need to cloak. So I'm going to try to avoid using the uh, the bombs if necessary. We can save our missiles instead. And we can always cloak out of their next shot if they actually manage to get through our shields. Which seems uh, very unlikely. Mm, we should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, so now we burst laser weapons this time. Yeah, that went pretty well. And if I, again, avoiding using missiles just seems like a smart idea. If we go after their clone bay, um, then they will, well, they'll probably just die. Actually, that's a really good surrender offer. Six fuel and seven missiles. I'll take it. Uh, we'll see if we can hit up the store before we, uh, before we leave. Not sure what for, but might be worth it. We actually have to fight them here. That's surprising to me. This ship seems super easy and very well suited, uh, to our cloaking technique. So we'll fire exclusively on weapons to start with. Yeah, that, that's bad for them. They have nothing active. Okay. So then we get a, basically a free turn, which we'll take on shields. Uh, it's like using Child of Light's interruption uh, option. Sorry, the last people offered way more fuel and missiles, so I'm going to have to kill you and sell your ship for scrap. Real sorry about that, though. Um, kind of your own fault. You were the assholes about it in the first place. 47 scrap. Pretty good. 
There's our third bar of cloaking. Now we can focus on just upping our dodge chance as high as possible. Oh, man. I don't think we can go to this store. We have to... This is unfortunately like a dead-end beacon that I didn't notice before. I had a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. Uh, we are going to still be able to make it out. That was kind of close, though. A little risky there. Um, put your rock... Th this doesn't work. When you put the rock crew member on the comm, the mantis always says, like, We decorate our ship with the blood. Sorry. We decorate our ship with the blood and body parts of your kind. Yeah, there it is. I paint my ship with your companions. I paint my ship with you. Damn, dude. That's some hardcore shit right there. Um, Alright, you know what? We're sending a, a lot of people in here to deal with this mantis invasion. Luckily, we've got a ship that's... Or we're going up against a ship that's... Uh, Pretty easy for us to fuck with. We're just gonna close these doors, uh, and then... Sure, we'll fight it all out in the engine room here. Waiting for their bomb. Their bomb uh, did hit our weapons. But now I'm gonna fire my small bomb. And both of our lasers. And then cloak. Oh, that was bad. That was not handled properly. That fire needs to get put out in that weapon room, or we're in a very bad place. Come on, Rockman. I know you got the skills to pay the bills and the knowledge to get you into college here. All right, we still have our burst lasers up. That's pretty important. Oh, don't do this to me. Not now. Um, well, we got a fire. Otherwise, we're in serious problems. Serious trouble, I should say. Good, good, dude. Good. Take that missile launcher offline. Nobody's dead. Nobody's even almost dead. Someone's going to be almost dead in a second. They almost died. I mean, the fire in our weapons room is not helping us here. It's not doing us any favors. Should we just open it all up? Like, kind of live with it? Or, like, accept the fact that it's going to happen here? As long as our engines work, we can still jump away, which is definitely how I'm going to probably choose to deal with this situation. I don't really want to jump to another beacon without having any weapons active, though. But we're going to. This seems super risky, but at least we can cloak if things get really dire. Rock crew, send your rock crew member in. We got hacking stun and uh, 65 scrap. So, we're safe. Um, yeah, that looked bad for a long time there. That looked real bad for a little while. Um, but we're fine. We're fine. And we have a decent amount of scrap, which we're going to... I mean, what's more important? Fourth bar of shields or extra dodging chance? I kind of like extra dodging chance, to be honest with you. Because missiles are, are so much scarier than, like, lasers and ions, for the most part. Nobody else needs healing, more or less, so... We'll just get all of our weapons back online here, and in just a second we'll have this swarm ready. That was just a mishandled fight. Uh, if I would timed things a little bit better, we probably would have been w totally fine, but... I did not time them better, so we found ourselves in a bit of a tricky situation. And Remo, why don't you just go to the medbay while you're on your way back here, buddy? So this is the end of Sector 6, we still have 7 and 8. And I think we're in a very comfortable position, to be honest with you, which sounds silly after what we just went through, but I, I am serious when I say that. I think we're doing pretty well. Every run has setbacks, and that's not what's important. What's important is what you do with those setbacks. So this is the easiest cloak of all time. Um, they still have a couple lasers active, which scares me. I wish they'd fired those from the charge laser first, but they didn't. So we'll just wait for Burst Laser and Small Bomb to be ready, which they are now, and then we'll go basically completely on enemy weapons. Uh, and maybe we'll drop a, uh, a Swarm on their shields and a Small Bomb on their weapons? That only costs us one missile for that incredible barrage, so... They only have, uh, they only have beams active now. See if we can hit that cloaking before... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, see if we can hit that cloaking before they cloak again, but they cloaked again. Like that Who song. Who? Yeah, I think it was the Beatles or something. Um, <clears throat> wait for the cloak. Wait for the cloak. There we go. Uh, might as well just take that cloak offline. Yeah, that's in the red now. And considering their ship right now, I don't really think we have any reason to uh, worry about using our own missiles here. Even though we did only use one to inflict an awful lot of damage on them. Doesn't really matter what we go on here, as long as we hit them once, we, we win this fight, so... Yeah, there we go. And, as a result, 48 scrap. Pretty solid, truth be told. We're gonna head into the rebel-controlled sector here, and... Any run where you make it this long has to be considered at least a mild success. 
Let's keep things moving along here. I could theoretically invest in another system. Or I could get our dodge chance higher. I'm not sure yet. Uh, attempt to cloak and access the cash. Good. We got a decent amount of scrap. For now, I think I'm going to invest in a couple of extra bars of uh, basically passive dodge chance. So that takes us up to 45% passive dodge chance, which is pretty solid. That's a beautiful little uh, star that the beacons or the jump beacons make there. Um, that's that's really good. Bas roughly a 50% chance to dodge shots, even if we're not cloaked. Sounds good to me. They're going to try to escape. Their shots can do something to me, so I'm thinking what we'll do is a small bomb, like the engines. They haven't fired a missile at us yet, so... Um, there comes the missile. I heard it. I didn't see it, but I heard it. Okay. Now, we're going to swarm them on their piloting system so they can't... So we can't miss. That didn't really work out as well as I'd planned. Uh, and then we're going to go on their shields and weapons. I'm not sure if I'm handling this appropriately. At least we took out something. And then I'm going to swarm their weapons and small bomb their piloting system. That worked out fairly well, actually. Keep them busy. Enemy FTL is delayed now. Um, both burst lasers basically ready to go. We're going to swarm their shields quickly. Missed. Okay. Uh, we're going to go on their piloting system with two lasers. Good, good, good. Turn it red. Uh, here comes... Oh, their missile missed. Thank you. Passive 45% dodge chance. Small bomb on shields this time. Killed that crew member. Very nice. Um, take out those weapons while their engines and piloting system... Or while their piloting system in particular is still in a bad spot. And now they're really behind the eight ball. And, and they're probably not going to be able to come back from this. We've just got them, like, so... So screwed as is. Shields, weapons, and piloting system basically all on fire. No med bay. There is a clone bay for about the next 10 seconds. Um, but they're done. All right. That was a bit of a scary ship, but we took it out just fine. 65 scrap. It's quite nice. There is a store. So that's where we're going to use our... Um, that's where we're going to focus our efforts is on that store in the future. Maybe we can pick up an augment there. A pre-igniter, for example. That would be uh, amazing and, and helping us out here. So this is an interesting one. Um, I'm going to vent the oxygen. You're really going to board me with like five people at once? That's just crazy town. Now we're going to open that door up. And I'm going to hope that they can't get any weapons in here. Now they do have a flat cannon mark too. That's what scares me. Um, I might just want to fire this swarm missile just before they take out the power. Which it looks like it's going to happen very soon. Oh, they didn't actually get it. But I'm still glad I fired it. Wait for their flat cannon. We missed anyway. Small bomb on their shields. It hits. Burst laser on weapons. Um, you might want to just run back here, my friend. Who's almost dead? Okay. Kirkner, get into the med bay. Thank you for not taking the, the worst way possible to get there. They just fired three lasers, but we're still totally fine. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't see the flat cannon. Luckily, we dodged enough. Close all doors now. You'll be fine. Actually, you should get out. Especially Rockman, who's slow as molasses. Okay. Uh, you know what? Small bomb. Uh, why don't we swarm those shields, actually? That's pretty nice. Then we'll go on weapons and... Uh, why not piloting as well? Really mess with their ability to do anything. Oh! they. I thought they all died already. But no, that's actually a pretty terrible surrender offer. 30 scrap at this point in the game? You think I'm going to roll over and take it for 30 scrap? That's just insulting at this point, to be honest with you. And, yeah, bad piloting system means no dodge chance, means, you know, bad things for you, basically. Everyone get back to their bases of choice. Oh, that is not a good-looking ship. Especially now that, you know, it's been sundered like a Lego piece. And we didn't even get a great reward for actually finishing the fight there, but that's cool. What do we have here? Some more combat, four bars of shields, and a, uh, a Vulcan. Little scary. That's like a ship that I would make there. But I don't think we're in too much trouble. Especially if we just take the Vulcan offline. We're going to cloak right now. This is also going to slow the Vulcan down so it can't uh, shoot as much. But first things first. Obviously, we have to hit shields pretty hard. So our swarm's about to hit its third level. These are all going to go on shields, as is the small bomb. And... Yeah, that did pretty well. Now we hit weapons, because if we can just manage to take the missile launcher offline, life gets better. But if we take the Vulcan offline, which we actually did, life gets even better than that. Oh, good hit. Uh, because they're not going to be able to get the uh, the benefit of getting it supercharged up. 
So they're screwed. The, the ship looked a lot scarier than it actually is. And we're just going to go hard on shields here, which could quite conceivably lead to me killing some of the crew in there. Ah, that was actually pretty bad. We'll use a small bomb. There we go. Just keep them on their toes, you know? This will kill them almost for sure, unless their dodge chance is out of control. It kind of is, but sorry. Um, I mean, we could use a swarm missile, but burst lasers are already almost charged up anyway. Kind of want to hit the pilot first just to fuck with them because... Oh, cloak, cloak! I didn't cloak in time, so we took some hull damage. All right, 198 scrap, though, is pretty good. Now I should just wait for um, Cloak to come back online. Otherwise, we might be a little bit handcuffed when we come to the next sector. Basically, they fired a missile right as they were dying, and as I was trying to Cloak, I hit my coffee cup and almost spilled it everywhere, so I ended up taking some damage, both in real life and in the game. But it's okay. And... Oh, Cloak is now active again. So we'll hit Distress Beacon. Is this an asteroid field? Oh, it is! So theoretically... We could get that, um, that achievement and finally unlock the red tail. What do we have here? Try to shield their ship with yours. Yes. Okay. Good scrap, at least. There's a fire. Okay. Well, Rockman can take care of that. And we're jumping to a store anyway first. But this asteroid field seems like a great opportunity for me to finally get the red tail. And it shouldn't screw me too badly. I'm just thinking. A drone control unit with defense drone Mark 1 seems very smart. What would it cost to heal all the way? About 120 something. It looks like at least. So let's get a drone control unit with defense drone Mark 1. I like it. We have 187 scrap left. We'll use that later. Come on, Rock Man. And it's, there's a fire now in the drone control room. So we're going to have to repair it. Oh, uh, yes. That's fine though. There you go. Good repairs. Thank you very much. Or good, uh, good extinguishing. Thank you very much. So we're going to save our scrap for now, because we're going to want to use this to repair after the asteroid fight. Well, it's not really a fight, I guess, but after the asteroid situation. This theoretically should work. It might leave me a little low on scrap, but if it gives me the red tail, I mean, that was the, the whole reason we came here to begin with, right? Who's... Okay, our pilot's been taken control of. We're going to send the mantis in there to just keep him busy so he doesn't break the piloting system. And uh, as soon as we get the opportunity to do so, I think we're going to go pretty hard on their mind control system. Yeah, just so we don't have to deal with that bullshit anymore. And we'll send the pilot into the med bay here. Whoa, it was more shots than I expected. It's okay, though. Next, we'll go on shields, because their weapons are not too dangerous for me here. Probably keep that up. And we'll send you back and you here now. Yeah, our dodge chance is high enough that it, it, it seems like we're totally fine in doing this. And there we go. They're basically screwed. Okay, so what do we do after we finish this? Well, we be very careful is one of the most important things here. Please tell me I don't accidentally screw myself. 63 scrap is very nice, but we basically depower shields all the way. We're gonna, st and we should probably take our pilot out too. I mean, ideally, this wouldn't hurt our systems as much as it is, but... So, Pilot, you're gonna leave. And we're just gonna let these asteroids kind of tear us apart. They've stopped coming, apparently. There's no more asteroids. Oh, there's one. Keep it going. Just don't let ourselves die in the process. That fire sucks pretty hard. We're gonna go down to one health, and then heal all the way back. This is why I don't like fire. Fire is scary. Uh, not as scary as losing your oxygen is. You know what we could do is just uh, shield up quickly here. And just take a second to get everything fixed up. Come on, rock man. Help me put this out here. Oh, you're almost dead, huh? Alright. It's okay. Rock man can handle this, I'm sure. We don't really need to get our like weapons or anything fixed up. We can do that at the store. So let's lower our shields again. No more fires is all I want. One more asteroid. Okay, there we go. Now we jump. Pilot, pilot, get in the room. Oh my god. Oh my god, pilot, get in the room. Oh god, oh jump. Oh, Jesus Christ. There was an asteroid like half a second away from hitting us. Alright. <laughs> there we go. We did it. Read it. We finally unlocked the red tail. And it only almost got me killed. Now, close all doors as soon as the door system's back. 
Some people are gonna need some healing, uh, so that's why you keep the pilot in there, so you can jump right away. Thank God I didn't move him further away, that would have just been, well, really idiotic. Rayliotic, that doesn't really make any sense, that's okay. Now, everything's fixed. Everyone back to your rooms. People are surprisingly not that hurt, and we still have a decent amount of scrap, so... There's our drone power, so we can get a, de a defense drone active. In addition to everything else. And this is our ship! Enjoy it! This is what we're gonna be taking with us into the, the Rebel flagship fight. Pretty good missile defense. Defense drone 1. Why do you prefer defense drone 1 to defense drone 2 sometimes? It, uh... Shoots down only missiles, which means you're not gonna waste it on lasers that would otherwise just bounce off your shield anyway. So... Small bomb on shields. Fairly standard. We cloak. All their shots miss. Now we wait until we get the third level of swarm missiles. Our bomb missed, but that's okay. Third level of swarm missiles means three missiles coming in here. Oh, they shot down two of them. That's kind of amazing. Uh, and we're gonna go on their weapons quickly with our burst lasers, see if those actually work. No, they have a defense drone level two. This is a pretty scary ship we're dealing with here. So our ship's not gonna be up for a second. Or our our stuff's not gonna be ready for a second. This is gonna hurt, maybe. Yeah, piloting system's been hurt. Uh, we'll send the Mantis in there to help with repairs. So we're gonna small bomb their shield room quickly. It worked. Three missiles. Uh, if we fire the missiles and the burst lasers simultaneously, they won't be able to block as much as they normally would, so... There we go. We at least got them down a couple bars. We can afford the missiles. This is a perfect cloaking opportunity as well. There we go. Everything misses. Now we just wait until everything's ready at max charge if possible. They are going to get back to four bars, but this is a good way for us to do hull damage if nothing else. Small bomb. Misses. Swarm and burst lasers. Here we go. Not really good enough. You know what? I don't even think it's worth fighting on this room. We don't need to scrap for anything. I'm just going to move on. Uh, sure. I'll give him five missiles. We got one hull point repaired for five missiles. Worst trade of all time. That being said, it's not going to matter because we get missiles here. So we are on the 8th sector. We're going to see if we can make our way over to that base as soon as possible. Hopefully there's a repair beacon on the base and then we can just wait. I mean, we don't really need scrap for anything at this point, so... It seems sensical to me to just kind of wait it out here. Um... I don't think it's a bad idea to use a defense drone here. The base will typically give us more missiles. Ah, uh, okay. Is this the right time to cloak? Yeah, it was, but we're fine. Now, just see if we can do this with burst, la burst lasers. Took a missile launcher offline, that's pretty useful. Okay, that's the five, mis uh, five uh, laser shooters, so we want to avoid that. Small bomb on shields, maybe? It worked. And swarm missiles on weapons. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Now, burst laser on shields, and then burst laser on weapons right after. Good, keep that fire burning. Just wait it out. We've got our own defense drone to block those uh, missile shots. They're gonna try to escape, which doesn't surprise me. Medbay's in a rough spot. We're gonna try to hit their piloting room to make sure they don't get a chance to escape. And their weapons are meaningless at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that offer. Mostly because we don't need scrap, and we could use missiles, so why not, right? So we'll just hang out here. And uh, we're going to wait. And the ship's going to come. And then we're going to wait. And then we're going to wait again. And the ship's going to come. So they're going to they're gonna start out with a cloak. This is a, a smart idea for their part. What's the hack? Medbay. Not so bad. Could be worse. Now, we wait until they shoot, then we cloak. The lasers are meaningless. Remember that. Give it a second. That's fine. The missiles are not meaningless. We should get that defense drone active, though, yeah. Now, what do we do? We wait until uh, they have, or we have, three bars of swarm ready. We fire those all with the small bomb at shields and hope that they don't cloak out of the way. Oh, that is great. That is great news right there. So they hit us with those ions. That hurts, but they're not going to shoot as long as they're in cloaking. If nothing else, this is a great way to deal hull damage. Oh, that's going to hurt. Mm, yeah, yeah, it did. We can't cloak yet. This is a little scary. Don't hit weapons. 
Piloting. Med bay. Shields? Yeah. Breach in the shield room sucks pretty hard. Okay, okay. Just wait a second. We're still fine here. We're still fine here. Here come the ions. We don't want to necessarily cloak out of the way of those. Get in here. Fix this piloting system, man. Okay, swarm's ready to go. Hit the shields with the small bomb. We have to cloak now. Yeah. Uh, now burst laser on that missile launcher. Oh, that was good. The missile launcher's out forever, maybe. Um, Rockman's got his own fire to deal with. Let's get this put out. Shields are not looking so hot. Should probably get in here and fix those up, huh? Now. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, they actually are bringing that missile back online. Shields are back, too. Medbay and doors obviously have a problem. Um, might want to break their hacking system if possible. Oh, man. We're, we're still losing hull damage here. This is really scary, actually. Swarm on their shields, even though we're not quite there yet. We've got to burst laser both but that missile again. That's got to have killed that crew member by now. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can do about this fire. It's just going to keep spreading through here. We need that dodge chance, though. Who's the human pilot? It's this person right here. Okay, you get back. Who's... Mantis is almost dead. You gotta leave, basically. There's nothing else we can do about it for now. What a fucked up fight. Um, this is all we can really do. Wait for the next shots. Those ions have been real annoying. Only one hit that time. Okay. We're gonna swarm and bomb the shields again. And they're about to die. This is gonna kill their ship. So, uh, quietly, we've actually made some pretty good progress there. Um, but yeah, that was not... Nice, that was not very fun. So how the fuck do we deal with this situation? Well, Rockman and Human. I think probably the first thing we should do is get that med bay fixed up. Thank you for not taking the dumbest way of all time again. Uh, and we get the med bay fixed up so that we can put out the fire kind of consistently, you know? So, then we have to get doors. So first things first is we put out the fires. This will allow us to put out the fires kind of passively, easily ourselves. You should get in there. And once we get the fire put out in the door room, and we get one level of doors repaired, we can do some stuff. Alright, now the doors are repaired, we close those doors, but open these ones and try to, try to vent out the fire this way. And truth be told, this was not a very difficult puzzle to solve, but we will probably take a little bit more hull damage along the way. Oh, this door needs to be opened. Okay, okay, okay. Scary. Very, very scary, but at least we did unlock the red tail, so we have a new ship next time. And we're going to be going up at least against Phase 2 of the Rebel Flagship on Normal, which is always very nice for me. Not something that happens all the time. Now, Jorlak and Tai Yi have to get fixed up a little bit here. Jorlak, our engine personnel. So, on the next fight, they don't have cloaking, which makes our swarm and small bomb much better, I'd say. We didn't lose any crew there. I think this is okay for now. Okay being the keyword. I don't think we necessarily have a great chance of success. We can get to that repair beacon And it would be nice to do so. Do we have a fight? No So they're gonna go back to the base, but we're gonna have a chance to get back. So we're gonna repair first This seems very smart to me even though You know a little risky obviously. This is unfortunately in control of the um, or The rebels are about to gain control of this sector. What we'll probably do is um, oh they boarded us, you dicks. This is where things start to become a bit of a problem. We don't even need that defense drone, but I already wasted the part, so whatever. Um, all three of y'all are going to come in here and make this happen. Um, we're basically just going to cloak whenever we get the opportunity to. And whenever they shoot, and then we're just going to jump away. So everybody that got hurt, which is Kirkner and Remo, you get in here. No, you too. Just wait for their shots to actually fire. Man, that's a lot of them. And we should just be able to get away just fine. So everybody get back to your room. And we're going to jump to the second phase of the uh, flagship fight here. Oh, but cloaking won't be active right away. So that was... That's the price I pay for that. But maybe it'll be active for our first, uh, our first power surge, which is really all we need. And the missiles, ideally, but... Okay, so small bomb. 
We have to wait for at least a couple swarms to be ready. Small bomb and swarm on those missiles right away. Uh, we at least... We at least heard it. Now, here comes the power surge. This is the scary part. Give it a second. Oh, and the missiles are firing at exactly the same time. That's basically the best thing that could possibly happen to us right there. 105% dodge chance, too. So we cloak. This is an important cloak. We swarm missile. This time, I kind of feel like... Um, we swarm missile the shields, small bomb this, and uh, first laser this. Just to guarantee that those uh, or that missile launcher stays offline. We also hurt their shields a little bit. And I have a pretty, you know, standard ammo for dealing with this uh, boarding drone now. Especially in the med bay, it's, it's pretty easy, but uh, it's a little scary. No, they didn't quite manage to do any damage to us there. Um, we just send all three of our kind of like miscellaneous personnel to deal with it. Power surge is about to come in. We're going to quickly um, small bomb and uh, swarm this stuff, and then we're gonna try to take out their laser. We did some stuff. There's the power surge, so we just cloak. Med bay is about to get fixed up, and we'll just wait till everybody's healed and then send them back, basically. All right, we keep this cloak going. This is going totally fine. Oh, another boarding drone I imagine is probably on its way pretty soon. Now we have a swarm missile. Swarm missile, I think, goes on shields. Small bomb goes on shields. And um, maybe small bomb goes here, actually. And then we... We try to do some some damage to all of their systems at once. Good. Oh, they actually did manage to keep their uh, crew member alive in that room, huh? Uh, well, now they've come to a room where I actually can't send the Rockman in to help out, and we we won't be able to do anything about this power surge either. So what do we do here? Uh, uh, there's no reason to send one swarm missile. That's stupid. We can try to take out the person repairing the laser, though. Oh, we shot down the defense drone. Ooh, that's really nice. Okay. That dude's dead. That laser's never coming back online now. Now, be cool here. Human's almost dead. You should get in the med bay, human. And give it a second here. Good shit. We're waiting for the next power surge, basically. And then we're going to cloak. Might as well uh, swarm missile and small bomb in the meantime. And burst laser, actually, because we'll be able to get all of them back in our cloak. Uh, we did do some damage to the shields, at least. And some damage to the hull, which can't really be overstated. You guys get back in here and fix up this uh, door room as quickly as possible. This fight's going very well right now. So what do we need here? Uh, from this cloak, basically, three swarms will go on um, the shield room, as will the small bomb. And then all the lasers I'm going to send on their drones. And, oh, come on. That's like so quick of a power surge after what they... Uh, after the last one, that's bullshit, but hopefully a lot of them are beams, or we get good dodges. I saw a lot of misses in there. That's good. Ah, oh, shields are a little hurt. We're fine, we're fine. Fix up that med bay. And again. Basically, exactly the same situation that we've been dealing with for quite some time here. They're gonna be dead probably on the next volley. Now the question is whether or not we can actually, uh, manage to, uh do the same thing to the third phase. Right now, we didn't take any damage on this phase. That obviously strikes me as pretty wonderful. We're gonna uh, swarm, small bomb, and burst laser all of it on the shields. And they're dead. We used a lot of missiles, but that's fine. Did we get any back? We got one. That's something. And uh, I guess we'll chase them down. Or should we wait for them to come back to the base? I guess it doesn't really matter. What we can do is wait for them to come back to the base and then, you know, up some things that'll help us out. There we go. Does that help? Maybe. We can micro those a little bit more, I guess. And we'll just uh, wait for them to come back. This is the moment of truth. Third phase again on normal with the Kestrel. I feel pretty good about this. Oh, I feel pretty good that we made it this far, I should say. So they still have missiles, of course. Mind control, super annoying. Uh, as you might expect, we'll just send our, our people in here to deal with the mind controlled rock man so our shields don't go completely offline. That's a little scary. Um, should keep our doors uh, active, though, if possible. So, Q-Man, go back here. Keep those doors as high as they can be. Now, Burst Laser is what we want to use here. Um, Mantis is almost dead, huh? Why don't you go back in the med bay, my friend? Uh, you might get killed here, Mantis. We should have cloaked there. We, we really should have cloaked there. There's not much in the way of excuses for me not to have cloaked there. I really want to close this door, but the shit's broken. Um, all right, human, you come in here, I guess. Our mantis is going to be fine. He's just going to be low on health. 
burst lasers active again. The problem is I don't want to, um, here comes the power surge. This is why I didn't cloak during the missiles. Whether it was a good decision or not remains to be seen. There we go. Um, obviously our shields are in a weird place. Close that door, get the medbay powered back up here. Um, our engines are in a weird place as well. But once we get through this fucking, there we go. Bars of shields. Then we swarm missile their missiles. They don't have any defense to that. We can maybe small bomb their mind control to help ourselves out a little bit more in the future. Rockman, you gotta get, you gotta heal up, dog. Um, does it smell like up dog in here? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Uh, okay, so they're still, you know, they've still got us in a bad place here. Close all doors. Open all, uh, close all doors. Keep all doors closed for now. I don't really care if they break our sensor system. Go nuts. Now, there's three missiles we can't cloak out of the way of. That's okay, we'll just take those offline, presumably, right now. Uh, those missiles are... Still doing damage, huh? Here comes the power surge. So we cloak out of the way of that. Our shields are in a very bad place. Go fix up those engines, if you will, too. Now... I still think we swarm missile and small bomb those, uh... Or that missile area. So th those missiles are never gonna fire again. That feels good. Now, ideally, we would get the laser doing the same... Or, shit, we gotta take out mind control again. Because our pilot's mind control. Having zero dodge chance does not benefit us in this situation. Rockman, come deal with this pilot. We can't get our shields paired up. Or, shields fixed up. That's the real problem here. And our dodge chance is zero. Pretty bad as well. Uh, I think we should swarm missile their lasers quickly. Oh, uh, no power. This power surge is not good. I'm scared. And I think I deserve to be. Uh, yeah, it's gonna hurt. Hurt a lot. Truth be told, where's the fire? Defense drone. Not that big of a deal anymore. Um, truth be told, we're actually in kind of an okay situation. Fire in the drone control room doesn't really matter. Um, get those shields fixed up before cloaking even. Okay, get the swarm active. Why do I need third bar of swarm? Very simple. Third bar of swarm will let me hit those shields with all I got. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, that's good shit. And we took a little bit more damage, but we've also taken their weapons offline. Mind control's not quite offline yet. Oh, I hit the wrong system. Well, luckily I didn't hit it, I guess. Weird definition of lucky, but... Here comes the power surge. Human, get in the med bay. Oh, very close. Here comes the power surge. Okay, burst laser has to get through this. It didn't even come close. Power surge, power surge. Oh, that was the power surge. Okay, my mistake. Uh, I don't want to kill our mantis. I just want to get through their, um, their bullshit mind control system. We'll try to small bomb our way through the, through the, uh, shield. I'd, I would rather not swarm our way through the shield. Okay, you can get this fixed up. We don't have to cloak until the next power surge. Burst laser, come on. Okay, and now swarm on the shields. Good enough. Here comes the power surge. Get ready. We're going to have a 100% chance to dodge it. Get that mind control system offline. Oh, that's good. Okay. We dodge. I think we won. I think we're going we're gonna to beat the flagship again. What do we hit? Um, I want to hit piloting and shields. The one thing I don't want to do is accidentally kill all their crew members because the computer fucking cheats. But... We'll wait for... Oh, there's a fire that spread to our piloting room, huh? We'll wait for our, uh, our burst lasers to be ready because our dodge chance has got to be nearly zero. We beat the game on normal again! Hey, I didn't think it would be possible with the Kestrel. And this time we did it while unlocking the Red Tail. That feels pretty darn good. So, well, let's see where our score lands there anyway. It's our second highest score ever. Feels pretty good. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. If you did, uh, then click the like button. That helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.